This miss is single. No husband, man, or partner, no boyfriend or significant other, and yet this miss is right where God would have her be until she gets married, which may happen or may not. But what a privilege she's discovering that God holds her lot, that the boundaries have fallen for her in pleasant places, and that being the case, she's increasingly carefree and yet eager to see what her future will be. She's not afraid of being alone, knowing that she's never really on her own. Accompanied by an angelic contingent, she can throw off all anxiety because she's hemmed in by heaven's army. This miss is developing in choosing joy in spite of circumstance, absolute truth despite this culture's stance, and having a mentality of abundance and confidence in God's sufficiency. So her faith is growing daily. She knows he'll provide exceedingly more than abundantly. This miss is looking further, counting on the favor of her father to form her future. This miss is a burgeoning giver, trying to give without asking for anything back because she knows her marital status is not synonymous with lack. This miss is trusting and trusted, growing and trusting God to bring the right things her way at the right time trusted by others to walk in integrity and character, and though she is far from having it all together, this miss is more and more mature, maturing in humility such that she sees her own frailty, in full awareness of her weakness, but firm in Christ's righteousness. She rests assured that God will work things out in the confidence that she's his. This miss is getting her head around the word submissive, one of the most shunned words in society, and yet this miss will submit freely because she daily walks in greater submission to one higher than her future lover, to one who loves her like no other. She's not blinded by the idea that independence is better, but she's marked by her savior's character, which would serve her in wifehood. This miss is learning servanthood putting others above herself as she saw done on the cross by he who is the Logos. This miss is earning a PhD in patience, determining daily to be satisfied with the present, seeing in each day as God's presenting her with a present of contentment, walking in purpose and fulfilling the task her master assigned her, not wallowing in regret, nor living in a dream of what's not yet. This miss is praising God for all that is past and trusting him for all that's to come when it does come at last. You see, this miss's fulfillment is not contingent on having a man, nor does it revolve around being someone's plan B. You see, this miss is not lost in a fantasy of what could be with a man who only exists in her mind and has not yet entered her timeline. She's not living in fear of what woulda, coulda, shoulda been when God is the one who works out everything in his timing for her good and his purpose. She's figuring out he's so on purpose that she can be worryless, not fearing that she's missed her mister, her soulmate, her one perfect date, because the maker of this miss is the one who holds her fate. And therefore, this miss is genuinely excited when she hears of God's joining man and wife on the day of their wedding. And yet the fact that one day she'd love to be a bride is not something that she's actively trying to hide. And though in time she does desire to be a mother, she's not resentful of the things that God gives to others. And in the interim, she'll rest in knowing that God is faithful and that time is his tool to make all things beautiful. Because most of all, this miss is loved, loved beyond measure by the God who created her. Not a second class citizen because there's no ring on her finger. No, this miss won't miss one single second of this season of singleness, but she'll seize it. Sure that there must be a myriad of reasons beyond what she sees that God saw it fit. And then one day, all of a sudden, it looks like this miss is ready to be a missus. And like the Mr. Men books, this is Mrs. Patient. She waited on God's plan with intent. 
sat at the feet of her Lord with enjoyment. This is Mrs. Content, never needing a man as her joy supplement, but focused on the content of her heart and living life as God meant it. This is Mrs. Wise. Her time of singleness was not one she despised. Instead, she used it to learn to see things through God's eyes. This is Mrs. Giver. She grew confident in what in Christ was hers and trusted and tried him to be her provider. This is Mrs. Servant. She put others above herself when she was without commitment because becoming like her Lord to her was most important. This is Mrs. Trusting. She learned there was one in whose hands she could put everything and so surrendered her marriage into his timing. This is Mrs. Humble. She learned to value people while she was still single. And brick by brick, step by step, day by day, becoming what she is today. And so today, this is Mrs. Loved. Loved by a man who's in line with God's plan. Because this was a divine setup. All her virtues used by God so that her mister never could have missed her. And in hindsight, she sees that the very essence of what she nurtured while a miss is exactly what her mister was looking for in a missus.